Welcome back to New Zealand. Now, on the last episode, I was down at a local beach at the Te Angi Angi Marine Reserve. I was blighted by quite a few little issues, namely my own lack of organisational skills, not checking tide times, that sort of thing, and it just, uh, it just went pear-shaped, to be fair. I think I got a couple of nice photographs out of it, but uh, not the ones I wanted, for sure. So, this is now two, two weeks later, I believe. We're heading back down to the beach. I've checked the tide times, and we should be... The tide's going out now. I'm on an unsealed road, so it's a little bit bouncy in the old vehicle. I'm gonna stay down the other day, stay down there tonight, get up tomorrow morning as well, and get a few photographs. What I wanna to show today is what is in the Marine Reserve, or what the Marine Reserve entails. So I'm hoping to make some nice, nice photographs. Now the sky is crystal clear. It was bitterly cold last night. No clouds whatsoever. It's the wrong time of day. So I'm gonna to have to get creative and try and make some interesting photographs in the condition that I'm faced with. So let's push on guys and see what we can make. Pretty much low tide now. There's quite a lot of these sandstone slabs that are now exposed, which I'm gonna explore around a little bit. Then I'm gonna knit back to the van, pick up the camera and get back down here and get some photographs before, uh, before the tide starts coming in again. But at the minute, it's looking like potentially we're gonna get some photographs. How I many if I'm being real nitpicky, obviously, the conditions are garbage in that we've got crystal clear blue skies, not always conducive for good photography. So it's gonna be a bit of a test of this, guys. Let's try it out. A lot of the rocks are still submerged and I'm just wondering if, uh, if this is about as good as it gets. Back in 2008, we had a massive coastal storm that brought down that there hill, a massive slip. The majority of this beach area was uh, was buried. It has started to uh, to become exposed again, but I'm just wondering if this is about as good as it gets, which is still fine, it's still good. I'm still gonna make some photographs. Lovely place. I really do think that the vast, vast majority of the marine reserve is still is still buried, which is uh, which is pretty pretty sobering when you look at it. But anyway. What we've got is what we've got, guys. And I really think the best we're gonna do is to get just to that little headland as it comes down from the hill there, and then the big headland on the horizon there. That is gonna be the focal point, and then we're gonna find something interesting for the foreground. What a beautiful place. What a beautiful place to explore. The tide seems to be coming in quite fast again. So I've just checked the tide times and obviously I checked the wrong month. That's why the tide's rolling in now and not uh, not going out. But hey, it's par for the course, I'm useless. So I reckon get up in the morning, get down to the beach and we'll be able to get something at decent low tide on the platforms, beautiful golden light. Oh, it's all coming to plan. So basically what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna get a quick shot here. I've walked down the beach, not seeing anything that really strikes me, but I'll get a shot anyway, just to, just to show that I was here. Just behind me there, we've got a few rocks in the water's edge. Got some nice sunlight on them, and a big headland in the background. See the, see the tide's coming in so fast. Unbelievable, I'm, I'm useless. Let's get a quick photograph. Carry on my walk. Might as well get some exercise while I'm down here. Fresh sea air, and the good news is tomorrow morning, we're going to make some nice, nice photographs. I'm encouraged. Obviously, what I've got to do is try my best not to drown my camera again. It survived. It survived so far. I've not taken the film out yet, so uh, I don't know for sure. So far, so good. This photograph is going to be really, really nice. It's framed beautifully. I'm just a little bit concerned about this water coming in because I'm scared to death now of drowning my camera. F11 250th, and it looks pretty cool actually, I quite like it. I'm doing well here to get as close as I can without casting my shadow on the, on the shot. And I'm also cropping out as much of the sky as possible because that gives absolutely nothing to the shot whatsoever. Crystal clear, well, big wave, big wave, it's not a big wave, it's just a, it's just a baby wave. And the tripod is sinking, that's a bit of a, a, bit of a bummer. Right, come on, I'm going to have to wait. To get some solid bit of ground, try and level the tripod up, which I've got. Now we'll take a shot. Beautiful. That guy's looks pretty cool. I quite like that. The light on this rock is quite nice. This will be a lovely place to come down in the morning first thing. Shoot this rock if I can find it again. This is a polarizer for my Nissi filter kit, so it doesn't actually fit on the lens, but if I hold it nice and steady. 
we'll just see if it makes much of a difference. I'm just thinking it might take a bit of sheen off the off the water, just a little bit, and it has done. What a stunning day. Absolutely marvellous, marvellous day. And I tell you, oh jeez. So looking forward to tomorrow morning now. I think we're going to get some light. Oh, Paul, you mugging little shit. Because I'm concentrating so much. <laughs> because I'm concentrating so much on watching the water, looking at what I want to photograph and recording the light. I put the F11 onto the lens, but I didn't adjust the shutter speed. So uh, those two photographs I've just taken, might as well just go in the bin. They were both shot at one second exposures. We're definitely going to take a photograph in a minute, a proper photograph. I'm going to use this little makeshift polarizer at f22. That's as far as this lens will go. And that's going to give me a 60th of a second. So let me now adjust the speed to 1 60th of a second. f22, ISO 100. Right, Paul, you are now about to take a photograph. With a bit of luck. All we're waiting for now is a little bit of surf to wrap around the rock. Is this going to make it? No, it's not. The wait continues. Come on. It's getting closer, getting closer. This one might push through. Come on, mate. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Showtime. 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 Beautiful. Love it. Now I've just made a photograph and it's quite a nice photograph as well, though I say it myself. I've just come up with a little plan, a cunning little plan. Instead of me stood around holding this polarizer, because obviously the thread doesn't fit, I might get hold of a little bit of blue tack and tack it to the lens. All right, here we go. A little bit of water coming through. Come on, a little bit of water. Where are you? Obviously, holding this polarizer to the lens might give me a little bit of vignetting, but I'm not too concerned about that. I like to use a bit of a vignette. Focuses the viewer's eye onto the frame. One more shot here, guys. Then it's camera away. Here we go, here we go. Like it. Beautiful. Two frames. Should have been four. But like a dick. I didn't set my I didn't set the shot speed right. What a muppet. Anyway, that's it. So it's late afternoon, coming into early evening. I just thought I'd have a scout round the other end of the beach. I've come to the northern end. I found this wetland area of the beach, if there is such a thing as a beachside wetland. And basically, I'm getting the reflection of the beautiful golden headland in the water here, perfectly still. So I'm just making a couple of shots of that. We have got some high altitude cloud rolling in as well. And I'm thinking that's gonna catch and light up. And it looks beautiful. And if I can just skirt around there a little bit. Better, 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 better. Uh, not so much, not so much there. I'm just working around, just seeing if I can improve on that initial shot a little bit. And I might have that here now. Let's just get a little bit lower. I'm trying to incorporate some of this uh, wet sand into the shot as well, just to frame it. The first shot I took, it was just the, the water, the hill, the reflection. That was it, and it looks okay. But now I've dropped the camera down even more. I like it even more because you've got the you've got the sand that wraps around it and sort of frames the shot a little bit better. Yeah, I like that. That's quite nice. Let's have a look. F11 30th. Uh, I'm not convinced actually on that one. Let's try that area. Well, that's better. That's quite a nice shot actually. And that is more or less the shot that I'm looking at. It's framed quite nicely with the sand, with a little bit of wet sand in the foreground. Half past four, what time is sunset? Sunset time is 4.59, five o'clock, half an hour, and then we should get some nice colour in that sky. Fingers crossed, best laid plans and all that. Now I'm just doing a little bit of scouting about on the beach, trying to improve on that first shot. I may have it there. I'm going to grab the camera and get a shot of that. Hmm. Just moving around just to make the shot work. At the moment, it's not really working for me. Although, we are getting closer. No, 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 no. That isn't too bad at all. If I come around that way a bit, maybe that way a bit. Yeah, it's not really working for me at the moment. But hey, I don't give in easily. So I'll just keep walking around, walking around, walking around. Try and make that shot a winner. I like that. I'm struggling at the moment to make this shot work how I want it to work. I don't want too much sand in the foreground. Oh, that's quite nice. That is quite, that's a lot better. All right, I think, I think we may have a shot. Quick check of the light, f11 130th. Let's give that a little bit of a punch. Yeah, I like it, I like it. 
Hmm, bugger. The light is really nice now. Just got that soft golden light on the hill and it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty damn nice actually, I like it. Now I'm just trying to show a little bit more of the wider beach in here with the main subject and its reflection in that water. It's starting to lose the light quite fast now. We're just on sunset and we've got nothing going on with the sky until I turn around, face towards the setting sun, those four Norfolk pines reflecting into the water and we've got some nice high altitude clouds streaking through and maybe, just maybe, if they catch, we may have a little bit of a shot. Now those clouds are just starting to catch a little bit, which is all I need really to make this shot work. F11, half a second. That's a shot in the bag. I'm just gonna hang about another five minutes. See if we get a bit more intense color in the clouds. We may do, you never know, living hope. It's getting cold now. All right, I'm thinking not. What bit of color we were gonna get, I think we've had. That's it guys, see you in the morning. Till now the revolution. Once the sun does come up and I can get a good look around the area, we're gonna make a few nice photographs. Where do we go? <laughs> Dark slide in. You put it upside down, you fool. What I don't do is leap. <laughs> Not that there's much leap in me these days. Come on, Paul, come on. Glorious. <laughs> 